ça m'a mouru, pas ça qui t'a 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 pas Fabrice is talking about was to mobilize and unite us all here today um, for a single cause and that cause is to raise awareness of the sometimes forgotten culture and burning spirit of resilience lit up in those who refuse to give up also this project aims to confront the difficult questions and concerns regarding the DRC's current affairs that's how progressive vision was born and to tell us more about progressive uh, vision we welcome Eric Mobote to the stage Well, I was hoping these guys won't bring me up here. But, as, you know, as I said, I always had to confront those uh, speeches. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you to uh, the people that are supporting this initiative. Uh, your presence here has truly been appreciated. I'd like also to thank the Progressive Vision team. Uh, these guys have been working very hard day and night uh, trying to make a change. Uh, like so many of other young Congolese in this place. But most of all, I wanted to thank the parents of those uh, young people that have been involved in this project. They have supported this crazy idea of trying to tell a Congolese story through a musical. And your support has really meant a lot to us because very often we struggle trying to get parents to get involved in things that we're trying to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
C'est quelque chose de très simple. Souriez, s'il vous plaît. That's it. That's what we like. That's what we like to see. All right. So finally, the moment we've been waiting for, the play we've all been dying to see. Euh, la production est un collage d'événements historiques, culturels et traditionnels qui ont eu lieu au cours de 50 euh, dernières années. Et elle met l'accent sur la diversité des, rich des, des richesses au travers le théâtre, la mode, la musique et le cinéma. So, the long -awaited play, ladies and gentlemen. La rétrospective, le demi-siècle. Congo 50, a round of applause The year is 1959, Congo Free State. The beautifully sun-glazed landscape of Leopoldville is blossoming with butterflies and unbroken endless rainbows. The streets are filled with echoes of raw guitar-driven sounds, poetically bouncing off the baking sands of the midsummer heat. Life seems very peaceful to many ordinary citizens of the city. But yet, the colonial power of Belgium, led by King Leopold II, are still ruling the country. Although the streets are highly populated by the Congolese, you can clearly see who is in control. The women are obedient to the role they have to play in the community. They are busy juggling motherhood and market stalls. The men walk the streets without any real facial expressions, exhausted by hard labor and colonial submission. For more than 75 years, the Belgian colony dominated almost every aspect of the Congolese people's life. They restricted social mobility, political participation and education opportunities. There was no pay rise or promotion for the Congolese workers, and they were always paid less than their Belgian colleagues. The mid-50s brought a new wave of nationalists around Africa, hence awakening the Congolese into action. The rising public instability meant that the Belgians had little choice but to allow the Congolese to form political parties. The parties were dominated by tribes, the most prevalent being the Abako, led by Joseph Kazavubu. By early 1959, much of the Lower Congo was beyond the control of Belgian authorities. While other parties struggled for support, the non-tribal MNC or Mouvement National Congolais was nationally embraced with the help of its leader, Patrice Lumumba. The Congolese seemed to have done the impossible. A nation with only two years of political experience 
now with the opportunity to write its own destiny. Mr. Lumumba, excuse me, Mr. Lumumba, what is your mission? What is your aim? Belgians have been here for more than 75 years now. Do they have to leave straight away? The objective that we are pursuing for the liberation of the Congo from the colonial regime and for the total emancipation of the country. We are certain that we know exactly where we're going. Thank you. What about the Belgians, Mr. The Lumumba? The independence of the Congo does not mean driving out the Belgians or even breaking off with the Belgians. It's quite the opposite. We want to form a sovereign government, a place for everyone, a place where Congolese and Belgians can work hand in hand in the service of the Congolese community. Thank you. But Mr. Lumumba, do you think the Congolese people, do you think they're going to welcome the idea of Belgians in the government? The masses that wait for us tomorrow, they want more than just the votes they attain today. They want bread. They want progress. We need to be able to build, build this nation. Thank you. No more questions. Sorry, sorry. Mr. Kasafubu, what security system have you got in plan? After all, this is a very young government. And what insurance do you have for the Congolese people that you are the man for the job? Our job is to guarantee a peaceful and well-structured transition. We are indeed very close to the promised land. We are going to the promised land. Thank you. No more questions. The objective that we pursue 
C'est la libération. The objective we are pursuing is the liberation of the Congo from the colonial regime and the total emancipation of the country. We are certain that we know exactly where we are going. The independence of the Congo doesn't mean driving the Belgians out or breaking with Belgium. Quite the opposite. We want to form a sovereign government which will provide a place for everyone in a country where Congolese and Belgians will be able to work hand in hand in the service of the Congolese nation. So much hope. T'enquête, t'enquête Joseph. Mais c'est quoi mon frère Ma cambo Simbi. Mine Simbi. Non, il me semble ma cambo Simbi. Moi non. Joseph. Ma cambo Simbi. Mine Simbi. Belgique, ma cambo libéré pays. Mais non, c'est ouais, pas vrai, vrai mon frère. Il y a seulement ma cambo libéré pays. Mais non mon frère, pendant quand 15 ans 20 ans Non Joseph. Tu l'as mis mon boy, frère. Tu l'as mis mon frère. Mais non mon frère, trop c'est trop. Je crois qu'il est si coyo. Bon, qui, trop, Joseph. Joseph. Bon, 
quand même. Mais, dans la loupie, projet où il y a 30 ans. Le projet où il y a 30 ans, il y a 30 ans. Et ce qui est venu, c'est que ça, c'est venu. C'est venu. C'est venu. C'est venu. C'est venu. Il ne faut pas qu'il y ait des psychos. C'est venu. Il ne faut pas qu'il y ait des psychos. C'est venu. Il faut te déclarer Mais il faut déclarer l'indépendance. Il faut te déclarer l'indépendance. Mais non. Mais Joseph. Non, mais, non. mais pourquoi Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Parce que ce qui te déclarer l'indépendance, Mboke ça n'a des autres. Tu connais ça la négine. Tu connais ça mon négine. Mon frère. Mais non, mon frère. Jamais mon frère. Ça peut se ah, faire. C'est possible. Joseph. Il faut te déclarer l'indépendance. Si Koyo. Je te comprends pas. Mais Ghana lobby, je te, je te comprends pas. Ghana lobby, n'a qu'au tiers espoir n'a pas naïo. Pour le Mboka, tous ont indépendance. Mboka est qui n'est pas ça. Mon frère, n'a pas ici, tous ont indépendance. Pour le Mboka qui n'est pas ça. Parce que si que donc, tu peux quitter. Tu peux qui? Tu peux qui? T'es sûr? Tu peux quoi? Tu peux qui? Joseph, il faut tout ça dans aussi Koyo. Bon. Tous ceux, dans la tuer confiance, tous ceux indépendance, mon frère. Quoi? Tu bénis avant tu vas y être célébré indépendance. Boya boya, tous ceux indépendance, indépendance, tous ceux indépendance, mon frère. Boya boya, tous ceux là, tous ceux indépendance, indépendance. Tous ceux là, indépendance, cha cha, tous ceux oui. Cha cha tu baki di, o ta flero. Cha cha bayo. Independence, cha cha. L'indépendance du Congo constitue l'aboutissement de l'œuvre conçue par le génie du roi Léopold II, entreprise par lui avec un courage tenace et continuée avec persévérance par la Belgique. The Independence Day was set for June 13, 1960. 
In the meantime, the Congo had conducted its election and nominated its own government, dominated by Lumumba's own party, the MNC, which has been so vital in securing the independence, Lumumba himself, now a national hero named Prime Minister. Independence had arrived without bloodshed or the Katanga succession many had predicted. On this historic day, King Baudouin I delivered his speech to the newly free Congo. Other parties that emerged included the Parti Solidaire Africain, or PSA, led by Antoine Kizenga, and the Parti National du Pupil, or PMP, led by Albert Delvaux and Laurent Barrico. The Belgian Congo achieved independence on June 30, 1960, under the name Republic of Congo, or Republic of the Congo. Shortly after independence, the provinces of Katanga, led by Mwaze Tishombe, and South Kasai, engaged in secessionist struggles against the new leadership. Most of the 100,000 Europeans who had remained behind after independence fled the country, opening the way for Congolese to replace the European military and administrative elite. But Lumumba was unwilling to let the king praise the evil of colonialism. Although he was not scheduled to give a speech on that day, Lumumba would take central stage to deliver a knockout blow to the Belgium government. Tear fire speech will be seen by many as a personal death warrant. Victorious fighters, today victorious. I greet you in the name of the Congolese government. All of you, my friends, who have fought on our sides day and night, I ask you to make this day, June 30th, 1960, a day that you will keep engraved in your minds and in your hearts, a day of significance, a day that you will teach to your children, so that in turn they will teach to their children and to their grandchildren this glorious fight for liberty. This was our fate for 80 years of colonial regime. Our wounds are far too fresh and too painful still for us to remove from our minds. We have known a harassing work exacted in exchange of salaries which did not permit us to clothe ourselves or to even feed ourselves, or to even drive away hunger. We have known ironies, insults, blows, endured morning, noon, and evening, because we were Negroes. And we have seen the inner cities where there are magnificent houses reserved for the whites and crumbling sh shanties reserved for the blacks who will forget my brothers and sisters who who will forget the massacres where so many of our brothers perished who will forget the cells in which they were thrown be because they opposed a regime of oppression and exploitation. The Republic of the Congo has now been proclaimed and the country is finally in the hands of its own children. In this domain, Belgium, lost, accepting the flow of history, has not tried to oppose our independence but now ready to offer their aid and to offer their friendship. A treaty has just been signed between the two countries. We are now equal and independent. 
they're now at our sides. We must stay vigilant. We must stay vigilant. But we shall also respect the obligations which was given to us freely. In conclusion, I ask you unconditionally to respect the lives and property of your fellow citizens and of the foreigners living in our country. If the for of these foreigners leave something to be desired, our justice will promptly remove them from the Republic. But if their conduct is good, they shall be left in peace, for, for they also are working for the prosperity of the country. The Congo's independence marks a decisive step towards the, the liberation of the entire African continent. So now, I ask you all, Congolese citizens, men, children, and women, to set yourself with resolute in completing the task of creating a, a prosperous national economy, which will ensure our economic independence. Glory to the fighters for national liberation Long live independence and African unity. Long live an independent and sovereign Congo. Congo oh yeah. Congo oh yeah. Bana Congo eh. Bana Congo ah. Tous ces plats Makambo ezali kole kanamboka ezali kole kelangai. Nini ezali yao? Joseph, explique-moi maintenant qu'est-ce qui se passe. Officier, officier, en officier! Plus, ozali na mingi ya kolobate. Makambo e bandi ango lelote, o lukaki ango depi kala. Et de ce, na zali koye bisayo siko yonde nye zali boye. Petit. Ozaliko kende. Petit. Yo kanga bien. Nga na pese ki omusala oyo. Ma solo yo lo ba Pas possible. Joseph, maintenant, 
Tu as deux minutes. <rire> Explique-moi qu'est-ce qui passe ah, maintenant. Mon cher, je te le dis. Joseph, tu as deux minutes. Une fois. Tu as deux minutes. Je, officier. Officier. De Yokangawa. Téléma. Je suis premier ministre. La Joseph. Téléma. Colobello côté. Patrice. Zali Kokami Sangai, que Mboka est commis à désordre. Je suis obligé de quitter Badolite pour venir à Kinshasa pour calmer le trou. C'est quoi ça, mon frère? Dengue Zali, Mingi Akolobe Zali, Tete, Koudou, Joseph, Mémelanga et Mosika. Officier! Joseph! Officier! Joseph! The chapter begins in the dark and tragic history of the Congo with the return to Leopoldville of deposed Premier Lamumba, following his capture by crack commandos of strongman Colonel Mobutu. Taken to Mobutu's headquarters, past a jeering, threatening crowd, Lamumba was impassive at this lowest ebb of his stormy career. Mobutu watched as his troops manhandled Lamumba, but promised the pro-red Lamumba a fair trial on charges of inciting the army to rebellion. Lamumba was removed to an army prison outside the capital as his supporters in Stanleyville seized control of Oriental province and threatened the return of disorder. Before that, Lumumba suffered more indignities, including being forced to eat a speech which he restated his claim to be the Congo's rightful premier. Even in bonds, Lumumba remains a dangerous prisoner, storm center of savage loyalties and equally savage opposition. In September 1960, Ten weeks after the election was won, President Kasavubu dismissed Lumumba from government. Lumumba immediately protested the legality of the president's actions. In retaliation, Lumumba declared Kasavubu deposed and won a vote of confidence in the Senate, while the newly appointed Prime Minister failed to gain Parliament's confidence. The country was torn by two political groups claiming legal power over the country. On 14 September, a coup d'etat organized by Colonel Joseph Mobutu incapacitated both Lumumba and Kasavubu. Lumumba was placed under house arrest at the Prime Minister's residence, although UN troops were positioned around the house to protect him. Nevertheless, Lumumba decided to rouse his supporters in Haut Congo. Smuggled out of his residence at night, he escaped to Stanleyville, where he attempted to set up his own government and army. The land of my mother, the land of my father, the heart of Africa, the soul of humanity. Why should this happen? Filled with more blessings than the eyes can see My brother, tell me why oh, My sister, tell me why
you these words without knowing if they will reach you. Love, I write you these words without knowing if I will still be living when you read them. All during the length of my fight for the independence of my country, I have never doubted for a single instant the final triumph of our sacred cause. But what we wish for our country is the right to an honorable life to a spotless dignity, to an independence without restrictions, and Belgium colonialism, and its Western allies who have found direct and indirect support, deliberate and non-deliberate, among certain higher officials of the United Nations. This organization in which we place all our confidence when we called for their assistance have not wished it. They have corrupted certain of our fellow countrymen they have contributed to distorting the truth and our enemies that they will rise up like a single person to say no to degrading and shameful colonialism and to reassume the dignity under pure sun. We are not alone. No, we're not. Africa, Asia and free liberated people from every corner of the world will always be found at the side of the Congolese. They will not abandon the light under the day comes when there are no more colonizers and their mercenary in our country. And to my children whom I leave and whom perhaps I will see no more, I wish that they will be told that the future of the Congo is beautiful and that expects for each Congolese to accomplish the sacred task of reconstruction of our independence. For without dignity, there is no liberty. Without justice, there is no dignity. And without independence, there are no free men. 
No brutality, mistreatment or torture has ever forced me to ask for grace. For I prefer to die with my head high, my face steadfast and my confidence profound in the destiny of my country rather than to live in submission and scorn of sacred principles. History will one day have its say, but it will not be the history that Brussels, Paris, Washington or the United Nations will teach, but that which they will teach in the countries emancipated from colonialism and its puppets. Africa will write its own history and it will be to the north and to the south of the Sahara a history of glory and dignity. Do not whip for me, my dear companion. I know that my country, which suffers so much, will know how to defend its independence and its liberty. Long live the Congo, long live Africa. Patrice. Vous pouvez prier, si vous voulez. Tu n'as jamais rien su de cette nuit au Katanga. Tu ne raconteras pas tout aux enfants, n'est-ce pas Ils ne comprendraient pas. Tu leur diras simplement que j'étais arrivé 50 ans trop tôt. Tu leur diras que ce que nous voulions pour notre pays D'autres ne l'ont jamais voulu. Later that night, the member was driven to an isolated spot where three firing squads had been assembled. The member and two comrades from the government, Morris Mpolo and Joseph Okito, were lined up against a tree and shot one at a time. Their execution probably took place on 17 January 1961. The member's corpse was buried, nearby dissolved in acid. There will be no official statement for three weeks. Despite the growing rumours, the member's body will have to be reburied several times amid suspicions 
that villagers had observed the murder.
power struggle with fire power. The marvelous baby will leave with dozens of gunpowder. The hopeless wife offers a software corrupted system. This is the order of the day. This is the death of our nation. The Asian generation are still praying for a change. The youths are eager for a fight. Fighting the culture. Fighting tradition. Fighting each other. Congo, please. Let's stand together and fight for a change. I'm not going to 